from Taidong. If you watched our last video, it was us uh, sightseeing around Taidong. But today we are embarking. I don't know how to do this. Whoa. Today we are uh, driving from Taidong to Kunding, which will be our first time doing a road trip in Taiwan. Can I try it? But before we leave Taidong, we have stopped off to get a beautiful custard apple. By the way, if you do here, I'm Seth's feet. This is Hayes. We travel a lot and we're spending three and a half weeks circling uh, Taiwan. Very good. Let's go. Let's go. While we make our way to wherever we're going next, I wanted to let you know in case you like that little map that we have of our Taiwan route. Uh, I got it on Fiverr. It was my second time using Fiverr. I hired a design camp. They were awesome to do a map when we traveled by train from Copenhagen to Tbilisi uh, last year. And I liked it so much, I reached out to Fiverr and said, hey, do you want to sponsor our map for Taiwan? And they said yes. Uh, so if you two are looking for something like that, I highly recommend it and there'll be a link in the description. This video might be really boring, but the drive is beautiful. It's all along the coast. I think we're about to go inland a little bit. So we pulled over at this like viewpoint rest stop near Dao train! Pete and Hayes are uh, on the beach that I can't figure out how to get to. I made it! I've never been on a beach like this. And I just won't let go tears start to flow. I feel it in my body. Girl, I feel this magic. How the clouds just feel like they sit. Like none of the weather like moves. It's just always like permanently here. And the light is like a constant light. It doesn't feel like it changes throughout the day. So really the clouds strange. are like lower. They feel so Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything feels lower. We're here to Hangchun, which is the uh only urban place in this new county that we're in, Pingdong. And it's like the gateway to Kunding National Park, which is where we're headed. And it was uh, an old walled city. So we drove in through the walls and there seems to be a cute little old street. And we're gonna try to find some lunch. However, it's Monday, a lot of things are closed and it's like 2.30 and a lot of the restaurants have a break uh, this time of day. So, wish us luck. Stop for lunch at Seafood Bar because they look really cute. They were just about to close. Super nice guy. Just gonna stay open, cook us some food real quick. Very appreciative of that. We all need it. That was great. Should we go and explore a little bit? I wasn't driving. There was a cute little brewery back there that was just calling me to come and sit and have a drink. Someone commented on our Taipei video saying it was the first video for foreigners where the, we didn't drink bubble tea and I just wanted to say that for some reason I'm striking out and every time I want bubble tea, there's none of them. And then every time I don't want it, every other shop is bubble tea. So we have been drinking it as much as we can. Just failing a little bit. Does that ever happen to you though? I feel like that happened to me in Korea. I wanted, all I wanted were those Korean corn dogs and I didn't see them the whole first trip we were there. destination in the most southerly point of Taiwan. I'm staying at sunlight on the peninsula and it looks incredible. Anyone else's kids? This is Molly tasking at his best here. I'm trying to talk to the camera whilst reversing. Does anyone else's kids fall asleep right when you've just got to your destination? be a bad place to call home for the next two nights. I don't know what else this video is gonna be. We're gonna be hanging out here. It's beautiful, but I think we're gonna try to check out a few uh, beaches 
tomorrow. It's well into the afternoon now. Um, we spent the morning, well, I spent the morning doing some work. Uh, Pete and Hayes went to the beach, just hung out, relaxed. Uh, and now we're at this little cafe near our hotel called Lumi. I think it's got some sort of Dutch something going on because we're having pufferches and then pancakes. We have just eaten all of it. Hopefully I got some B-roll. We're about to go to the southernmost point of Taiwan. This one, we got a savory one in addition to the classic pufferches. The savory one's pesto and mushroom. Look, that's the country. And we are right there at that blue dot. So we are at the southernmost point. Look, you can't go any lower than where we are. But what is the point? It's a viewpoint. What's a viewpoint? A place where you view something. Do you know what? The lighthouse is still a functioning lighthouse. Is I it? noticed it last night from the hotel. It was just spinning around. Stephanie's proudest work of being a mother is teaching her son her favorite artists. He likes Harry Styles, he now likes Taylor Swift and is singing Taylor Swift songs. I need to get Sound him onto- Sound of music? Sound of music, I need to get him if onto- If you're gonna humiliate me, like go the whole way. I need to get him onto David Gray. <laughs> no. They've taken their whatever oh. they, their instruments to attract the weather, and they've turned it into a giant soccer ball. Good people, that looks so cool. Stink, you stink. Stink, you stink. No more stinkers. Stink, my baby. bit of an anticlimax. What did you think it was going to be? No, I don't know. That's kind of more than I expected. And it's a runway cross. Just running in a runway cross. We walked to... No matter where we tell them. Let me run, Daddy. On your market set, go. Oh, yay, 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 yay. Okay. <laughs> the camera still roll? I would come back here from a vacation. We've generally lucked out with the weather. Today is a bit cloudy, uh, but we've come to Shao Wan, which is Little Bay Beach, which I think is a favorite. It's lovely. Uh, Pete and Hayes were already there here this morning. But we're back for more. One of my favorite things about Chinese restaurants that seems to hold true for some Taiwanese restaurants as well is you never know how many chairs you're gonna get. So right now there's three of us and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could have seven friends join us. Ten friends join us. Spin the camera around. Slowly. Thanks to everyone in our Taiwan video, uh, Taipei video that told me that. 18 days is actually from when it's brewed to its shelf life. So you've got to drink it within 18 days. And that's why you see it only at restaurants, not in stores. Very cool. Dumbay. Dumbay. How long has it been since you've had this? Oh man, this is like major flashbacks. I love, I used to live off this dish. When we lived in Shanghai, it was like one of my favorites. I think because it was the one that I just knew how to say and <laughs> all that I could order, all that I could probably afford as well. What is it? Oh, this is a gumbal jiding. Tonka 
hot chicken. Oh, it's good. This one was my favorite. You shall It's like eggplant. Fish scented eggplant. Shredded pork. Oh, is he? Oh. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> Was that a good restaurant? Yeah. Oh, what, you know what, what made that a good restaurant? I'm doing cards and food! <laughs> That's why you listen to your four year old. We were just walking along and then Hazel's like, look at those dogs, look at those dogs! And we were like, not really listening to him. And then. Parade of dog strollers. A friend of ours <laughs> said that we needed to get fried ice cream. And we found it. By the way, we're at the Kunding Night Market, um, which is a beach town. It's so chill. However, it's on a road that's not closed, so it's a little tricky with haze. I mean, it wouldn't be tricky with haze if we weren't also trying to film a video, so it's on us. Okay. Yeah, and our friend Emma uh, said she dreamed of fried ice cream, and I was like, yeah, we'll look for it, but I hadn't seen it anywhere. Here it is. It's toast. It's bread around ice cream. It tastes like exactly what you think it was, which is delicious. The Taiwanese night markets are amazing. Uh, we, I think we would be going to more if we didn't have haze, but the four-year-old sometimes just want to like, sit and have a contained dinner. I read that the Kunding Night Market uh, that you should get a cocktail from one of the many to-go cocktail booths, so... Twist my arm. What should I get? And now for 200 Taiwanese dollars, or about six bucks, I've got a, a walking marg. Is that everything you ever Yeah, I'm want? sorry you have to drive. Get this boy to a city! There was something mysterious red she put on top. It was going really well until that, but honestly, it's not bad. It's not bad. And that was the uh, Kunding Night Market. See you in the morning. It's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. It's time for my room tour. Let's have a look. This has been a stunning bedroom. We're like right at the end of the building, so that means we get light from this side, as well as this side. Super comfy bed. Very minimalist, which we absolutely love, and very comfortable. This beautiful window, amazing view. I was enjoying a nice glass of wine out there last night. And then, lovely, just relax. Bathroom. Again, toilet with all the features, it's been a very common occurrence. I think actually the whole of Taiwan uses the same toilet and this bathtub with a great view. It's beautiful. This place is fantastic. It's been a great day. Thanks for watching. What are these candies? <laughs> then what are they? They're earplugs. Earplugs. I don't know why, it's very quiet here. Yep. We'll see you in the next one. We're headed to Kaohsiung, so if you want to continue to follow our journey around the loop of Taiwan, the country of Taiwan in a loop, I don't know. Our next stop is Kaohsiung. <laughs>